As Godot becomes more popular and more people become interested in using it to make their games, some concerned users have begun asking whether Godot will always remain free and open source, or if it's possible that it could either be sold off to another company or made into closed software that you would have to pay to use. To address these concerns, Juan, the main developer for Godot, made a series of tweets on his Twitter account, pretty much laying down the law about what you can expect with Godot going into the future. To summarize what he said, Godot, legally speaking, is part of a not-for-profit charity called the Software Freedom Conservancy. This is not a company. The Software Freedom Conservancy does not own the intellectual property rights to Godot, nor does it have the legal right to sell Godot to another company. They are more like caretakers than owners, really. And their job is to make sure that Godot and other software under their care remains free and open source for the foreseeable future. The only thing the Software Freedom Conservancy can do is take donations from the public and use that money to help continue their goal of keeping software free. It's very important to note that this money does not go into developing Godot. They can't say, here's $100,000 to add this specific feature to Godot. They have no say over how Godot is developed. Some people are worried that a big company like Unity or Facebook might try to buy out Godot and either integrate it into one of their own products or just shut it down completely. This is not going to happen. Godot is MIT licensed, which which means that if another company really wanted to, they could just copy and paste Godot's source code from GitHub and integrate it into their own product, but they can never purchase Godot itself or shut it down. Godot will always be available for free and always be open source, even if other companies decide to use parts of its source code in their game engines. Godot, by its very nature, is not developed by some small inner circle of developers. It's truly a community effort where thousands of individuals work to improve Godot in their own way. I recently made a video talking about the upcoming changes in the next update to Godot, and pretty much every change was made by individuals working independently, and no one was directed to make these changes by Juan or anyone else involved with Godot. Everything was done voluntarily. Basically, what Juan is trying to say is that you have nothing to worry about. Godot is free and open source and will always be free and open source. It cannot be sold to other companies and no one, not even sponsors like Mozilla or Facebook, can influence the development of Godot using money or donations or gifts of any kind. Your copy of Godot is yours to keep forever and you can feel safe relying on Godot to make your game. Anyways, I hope this video has cleared up any confusion that you might have had. Make sure to like, subscribe, bell, links to my Discord and Twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.